here we're going to convert numbers into Roman numerals, so Arabic to Roman. And it is so easy to do. Just equals Roman. And there's only one required argument, the number. Then hit enter, and you get your Roman numerals. It is that easy. Equals Roman and the number to convert. So there is no more memorization required. And down here we have a very interesting section for alternate versions. So let's say that we want to convert 999 or any number, but the larger and more complex, the more interesting this becomes. So equals Roman and our number. And the second argument is form. So when I hit comma, we can see there are four options. Classic, simplified, and more concise, more concise, and more concise. So let's go with the very classic one, which is the default option. Zero, close it up, and there we go. So a lot of letters in there. Roman, let's go for the very next option, one. And it has a very helpful description, more concise Roman numeral style. Okay, <laughs> close it up, and it's different. I don't actually know what's going on with all of these styles, but let's see if they say anything different for number two. More concise Roman numeral style. <laughs> and it gets even smaller. And for number three, even smaller. And number four, we might get a different description there, simplified. Oh, simplified Roman numeral style, okay. There we go. So let's just be happy that we don't do everything in Roman numerals today. And now that we have Roman numerals, uh, let's convert it back to irregular numbers or Arabic. And equals Arabic is the function for that only one argument. So the number, enter, and there we go. Someone told me the other day that the Arabic numerals or numbers are actually from India little interesting thing there, and if I'm wrong, I'm sure someone will correct me. Always happy to learn something new. So it's very nice that we can use 999 for all of them instead of all of the different variations. Either way, uh, that's all there is to it. Roman to get Roman numerals, and Arabic to switch it back.